the helper arrives. Jesus told his friends to wait in Jerusalem, to wait for the helper he promised to send them. So they waited. They waited and they prayed for ten days. And while they waited, the streets of Jerusalem filled up with people from every land. People from the north and from the south. People from the east and from the west. People from all around the world who came together to celebrate the feast of Pentecost. Jesus' friends were in an upstairs room when suddenly some surprising things began to happen. They heard a wind blow, harder than a fiercely storm, but nothing was blown about. They heard the flickering of flames and they watched tongues of fire lick and lap and land on their heads. But nobody smelled any smoke. And then the Helper came, the Holy Spirit, and he filled them all with the presence and the power of God. And what they heard next was talking, strange words, pouring out of each and every mouth. So they rushed outside, eager to tell the crowd what had happened. And now, suddenly, everyone could understand. People from the north and from the south, people from the east and from the west, people from all around the world, for now Jesus' friends were able to speak in foreign languages, languages they'd never learned, all because of God's Holy Spirit. Hola! Howdy man! Bonjour, ça va? A guten Tag! What better way to tell the world about Jesus? A man from Spain said, So that's what it's all about. A woman from Africa said, That's amazing. A man from France asked, Tell me again. But there were others who thought Jesus' friends were just talking nonsense. One man shouted, These people are drunk. It's nothing but a load of gibberish. And that's when Peter stood up. Peter, who had been with Jesus from the start. Peter, the fisherman. Peter, who'd never made a speech in his life. Listen, we're not filled with wine. We're filled with something else. God's own Holy Spirit. Many years ago, a prophet said this would happen, that God would send his Spirit to help not just special people, like prophets and kings, but everyone. And that's what's happened to us today. And it's happened because Jesus, who died on a cross, was brought back to life by God himself, and now sits with God, beside him in heaven. It was Jesus who sent this wonderful gift to us. Jesus, the special one we've been waiting for all these years. Jesus, who was put to death by you. The people were very sorry for what they had done to Jesus. What can we do? Tell God you're sorry. Let him wash away all the bad things you've done. And then you will receive his Holy Spirit too. So that's what the people did. Three thousand of them. They told God they were sorry. They were baptised and they were filled with God's Holy Spirit. People from the north and from the south. People from the east and from the west. People from all 
over the world.